there are always words that are difficult to pronounce in English. So here's 50 of them. And I'm going to explain what they are, how to say it, and use it in a sentence. Ooh, but it's worth understanding that if this is your first time to the channel, subscribe and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss a video. But we're going to start right now. Let's get started. So number one, alias. Alias. Hidden identity. Ooh, hidden identity. So Joe Blogs is my alias. So you don't know who I am. I'm a secret. Shh. And my alias is Joe Blogs. Shh. Number two, Antarctica. Antarctica. The South Pole. Ooh. Antarctica is a cold place. Ooh, it's a cold place. Ooh, you don't want to go there. It's cold. Ooh, it's cold. Mm. Mm. Number three, an asterisk. This little sign thing. Asterisk means additional meaning or there's something extra to consider. Mm. So, asterisk. Asterisk. There's something else to be uh, cautious of. Add an asterisk in the sentence. Add an asterisk in the sentence. Yeah. Number four. Ooh. Brewery. 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 A factory that makes that makes beer. Makes beer. Beer. We are looking for the brewery. We're looking for the brewery. We're looking for it. Don't know where it is. Mm. We're looking for the brewery. Brewery. Five. And this is a word I like. Cavalry. 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 The people that fight on horses. Cavalry. Cavalry. Love that word. The cavalry will arrive soon. The cavalry will arrive soon. Mm. And kind of building on that, six, colonel. Colonel. A rank in the army. Colonel. Did you ask the colonel? Did you ask the colonel? Did you ask the colonel? It's a cavalry. Cavalry? Cavalry. Colonel. Colonel. Let's keep going. These two are interesting. Well, the second one is, actually. But number seven. Comfortable. Ah. Comfortable. Comfortable. Being happy where you are. Ah. Comfortable. Comfortable. Are you comfortable in the chair? Are you comfortable in the chair? You tell me. You tell me. Comfortable. And this one. This one, this one is very interesting. D R A U G H T. Hmm. Draft. Draft. Now this one's kind of got two meanings. Like draft isn't like wind from a window or underneath a door. <sighs> draft. But also beer from a pipe. Draft. Draft. Do you want it on draft? So there's the glass. You order a drink, you order a beer, there's the glass. They put it under the pipe, they pour something, or they press it down, or they pull a lever. The beer comes out, fills up the tap, fills up the glass. Here's your glass. How cool is that? Here's your beer. Here it, here it is. On draft. How cool is that? Draft. 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 How cool is that? Right, so. Nine. Especially. Especially. E. Specially. This pen is especially good compared to all the rest. Especially good. So, emphasis on something. So, like, this beer. This beer. Ooh. Is especially strong. Whoa, especially strong or especially weak 
or especially bitter for the occasion, especially strong compared to the rest. The rest are this strong, but this, this beer is this strong, it's especially strong, all the rest are down here. Or especially weak for the occasion, or out of the, un, unlike the rest of them, especially unique, or especially weak. And number ten, espresso. Espresso. S press O. A small, strong coffee. Whoa, you wake up in the morning with an espresso, I'm telling you. I prefer espresso in the morning, but tea at night. Espresso. A little small coffee, quite a lot of caffeine. Whoa, it'll wake you up. Espresso. Especially espresso. I especially like espresso in the morning. I especially like espresso in the morning. In the morning. How cool is that? How cool is that? Alright, so 11. Explicit. 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 Like, in great detail. Explicit. Explicit. Please don't go into explicit detail. I told you explicitly not to do that. That is a very explicit door. Very explicit scene. Explicit movie. Mm. So exponentially, number 12. Exponentially. Exponentially. Exponentially, like grows faster and faster. Starts off down here, chugging along, get barely go anywhere, struggling, and then it gets faster and faster, and it starts to go somewhere, go somewhere, and all of a sudden it's the inflection point, and boom! In that one bit of time over here, it grows more than all it did all along here. Barely moved, hits the inflection point, boom! Exponential. Exponential. My subscriber count should grow exponentially. Exponentially. <laughs> Exponentially. Explicit. Ooh, explicit. Ooh, very explicit. Explicitly said. Hmm. Explicit. Hmm. Exponentially. Hmm. Okay, so up. So thirteen. February. 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 February, the second month of the year. So her birthday is in February. February. My birthday is not in February. But is your birthday in February? The shortest month of the year as well. Yeah. Number 14 then, forte. Forte. Something you are especially good at. Especially good at. Mm hmm. Teaching English is my forte. What I'm good at, my forte. What's your forte? What are you especially good at? Comment below, I'm very curious. But February, forte. Let's keep going, let's keep learning. So yeah, cool. Hegemony. 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 Leadership or dominance. Dominance, especially by a group, by a small group of people. The family has a strong hegemony in Naples, Italy. Strong hegemony, strong control, strong dominance in Naples. Hmm, hegemony. But look at this one, number 16. Library. Ah, much nicer. Library. A building with books in it. With a lot of books. The library has a lot of books in it. Books. Oddly enough, books here. Books. Library. A building where you get your books from. To learn. To read. To grow. Ah. So hegemony. Strong dominance. Strong dominance. Strong control. Leadership. And library. Where books are. Library. Let's keep moving. A 17 is a word that I kind of like. A maelstrom. Hmm. Ma-ale-strum. 
like a whirlpool, like a whirlpool in the water, a whirlpool in the sea, in the sea even, the ocean, the sea, and then suddenly it's spinning around and going down, whirlpool, maelstrom, maelstrom, do not sail south, there is a maelstrom, also something chaotic, like a maelstrom of action, like what's going on here, a maelstrom of activity, something, things happening everywhere, every what, which direction, yeah. Number 18, mischievous, mischievous, someone naughty, being naughty and cheeky, being naughty and cheeky, mm. so she is mischievous and needs to be taught a lesson. Yeah. Mischievous, very naughty, being cheeky, tongue in cheek, mmm. Ah. Mischievous, a mischievous maelstrom. That maelstrom is very mischievous. That maelstrom is, is being very cheeky, very, <laughs> very, very, very mischievous. Oof, very naughty. Okay, let's keep going. Awesome, so 19. Onomatopoeia. On a mat a pia. On a mat -a -pia. So they are words that are spelt how they are sounded, or how, they, how you hear them, how they sound. Like, for example, wow, wow, bang, bang, <laughs> zap, bzz, zap, bzz, and pow, pow. You see this a lot in comics and magazines. Wow, bang, pow, zap, kapow, kaplung, who knows what else. Oh, more often than not, like good um, interjections. Wow, whoa. <gasps> and this one's interesting. 20. Phenomenon. 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 Ah. Something that happens that you can't explain. You can't explain this. An elephant walking on water is a strange phenomenon. An elephant walking on water is a strange phenomenon. Something you can't explain, something mysterious, something you don't, you don't understand. A phenomenon. Oh, what's this? What's that? What's those? What are they? Phenomenon. An elephant walking on water is a strange phenomenon. But if the water's frozen, and the, it can hold the elephant's weight, then it's perfectly understood. It, something you can't explain, but as soon as you can explain it, the water's frozen, it's winter, elephant's walking on ice, strong, strong ice, suddenly it's not a phenomenon, it's, it's a fact. It's, the st ice is strong enough to support the elephant. Hmm. But it takes away the mystery. But, you know, phenomenon. How cool is that? Onomatopoeia, phenomenon. Let's keep going. Ah, so 21, 21. Rural, rural, rural. The countryside, outside of a city. Uh, yeah, outside the city. Out, we go out beyond the city, go into the, the forest, the farms, the trees, the hedgerows, the bushes. The countryside, the open air, the fields, the animals. I live in the rural part of the country, away, away from the crowds. Away from all the crowds of people, the hubbub, all the people moving and walking and talking and squawking. Away. I live in the, I live in the rural part with the animals and the trees and the nat nature and the wilderness. Hmm. 22. This one's quite nice. Sanguine, 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 optimistic and positive in spite of what happened. So something bad could have happened, but you're optimistic and positive despite what happened. So she is quite sanguine about the whole thing. She's, she's quite sanguine about this. Despite what happened, she's quite sanguine. 
She's, she's keeping good. She's sanguine. She's quite sanguine. Relaxed. Relaxed and sanguine. She is especially sanguine in spite of what happened and unlike everyone else. Ah, interesting. Sanguine and rural. Let's keep going. Alright, so let's look at this one. 23. It's getting a bit dark out there as well. Whew, going for a while. Scissors. Scissors. A tool to cut things. Like paper. Scissors. Like rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. So use the scissors to cut the ribbon. Nice ribbon. Needs cutting. How cool is that? Sixth. Sixth, like five and the well in Chinese it's this, it's six. But sixth. Six. Six. Sir ik. After five, after the fifth, in a race, for example, but before the seventh. In Chinese it'll be this, seventh, but this is English class, so seventh. Before the seventh. I came sixth in the race. Sixth. Sixth. Hmm, sixth. These are the sixth pair of scissors I have. How cool is that? Let's keep going. So, 25. Specific. 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 In greater detail. Like, I've got a plan of what to do tonight. But I need to be more specific in my detail. I'm going to go here, but where's here? And when? And why? And doing what? And how can I get in touch? And where's the location? And who will you be with? Where will they? What's their number? More specific, please. You need to be more specific. Specific in your detail. 26. This one's nice. Squirrel. 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 Little rodent. Little, like a rat almost, that climbs trees. You see them in parks, in trees, jumping around, a little bit like grey or red, mostly grey in England, and they run around, they're very frightened of humans, they run away, eat nuts. Small animal that climbs trees, climbs trees, with a nice bushy tail. Do you want to feed the squirrels? Give food to the squirrels, feed them. Aww, aww, little, little cute thing. Squirrel, squirrel. And specific, specific, be more exact, be more precise, specific. A, do you want to feed the squirrels specifically, only the squirrels, specifically, or even especially the squirrels? Squirrels. How cool is that? Squirrels. Ah, oh, so 27. 27. Successful. 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 Achieving something. Achieving something. Yes. Achieve. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you a successful person? Are you? Have you achieved a lot of things? Are you achieving things constantly? Are, are you successful? Were you successful in learning how to drive? Were you successful? Don't know. Hmm. 28 then. 28. Temperature. Ooh. Temperature. Ooh. How hot Ooh. or cold something is. Ooh. How hot or cold. Temperature. In England, the temperature is all over the place. One day it's sunny, one day it's rainy. One day you got heat wave, one day you got floods. It's all over the place. Hot, cold, everything in between. Mild, temperate, hmm. Temperature. Hot, whoo, or cold, whoo. Oh, it is. All over the place. Hmm. So successful? Hmm, yeah. Temperature, whoo. Oh. Let's keep going. Ah, so. 29. Worcestershire. That's an interesting one. 
Worcestershire. 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 A place in England. England? A place in England. A, a, a shire, really. Why were you born in Worcestershire? In English, we don't say shire. It's shire. Worcestershire. Nottinghamshire. Birminghamshire. I'm trying to think. Northamptonshire. Shire. Not shire. Not like Lord of the Rings. Shire. Shire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcester, Worcestershire. Worcestershire, not Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Then 30, nice little, nice little simple one. Penguin. 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 A little black and white bird from the South Pole. Penguin. They swim, they can't fly, they eat fish, and you see them a lot in zoos. They're quite cute. In the South Pole, yeah. So the penguin is cute. The penguin is cute. Oh, look at it. Cute. Penguin. Black. It's going to be black and white. Small thing. Penguin. Yeah. So how cool is that? So that's 30 words in English, how to pronounce them, and what they mean. And also in a sentence as well. But if you want to keep learning English, expand your vocabulary, learn more grammar, and learn it. Learn it with Adrian, English with Adrian. So subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification next to it so you never miss a video in the future. But until then, bye for now.